Hello everyone, Russo here again. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to start off by letting you know that I burned my thumb pretty badly right all over this area. And so that's why it's going to be covered up and also why I'm not wearing any gloves today. But moving on, today we're going to be discussing the Stadler Pigment Liner. Now this is a really good quality pen. Um, I haven't used it as much as I've used the Micron, but it is a it is definitely a good pen. Stadler is a wonderful brand. They they carry a bunch of different products, pencils, markers, pens, um, erasers, you know, binders, tons of stuff. So. Basically, this one here, because it's a liner, it's mainly for sketching and drawing. I guess you could use it for writing as well if you want. Um, it's pigment ink. So, here I have a, a fine tip. I, I always generally use... Uh, fine liners that are, you know, the finest that I can find. So this one's a uh, 0.05. So I believe in this brand that is the the thinnest size that you can get. And uh, it's light fast. It's waterproof. Um, You can see it's most of it is listed right here light fast waterproof on paper indelible it's all there and what's interesting about this one is that you can actually leave the cap off um, and i believe that it can be left off for at least up to 12 hours give or take and it won't dry up and um, I do want to note that this is only with the black ink not with the, the colored inks and something else that's good about it is that it doesn't bleed when you're highlighting it on top of highlighter or I, don't, I haven't really tested it with um, like a Copic marker or anything like that but um, I guess it it might be the same idea um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna tilt tilt the camera down here and uh, give it a few a few sample strokes here. And I am using a uh, kind of like a, a watercolor paper, so this is gonna look way different if you're using it on a you know a smooth sheet of paper. Um, and I just prefer generally using watercolor paper for, for the art that I create so I um I like to test it on there to see how it how it looks you know and yeah so it's uh it's quite fine and nothing nothing much else to report on it it's um you know a nice just gray color simple Oh, here it says um, 18 hours cap off, but I was told 12, I believe, from their site, so I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know who to follow, but I guess, you know, maybe 15 hours, something like that. I mean, I don't think anyone would leave a cap off for that long um, without going back to your marker, but just in case, right? And it's very smooth. Um, it's made of uh, plastic, I would say, and the cap goes on nice and easy. It's got a metal metal clip. Nothing on the bottom end, and just the size on, on the top end here. And that's about it. I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's not 
extremely expensive. You know, I don't remember the exact price of it. I would say it's between two to four dollar range here in Canada. But yeah, it's a it's a good pupil liner. It's not top of the line, I would say, but it is definitely a good one. So don't be afraid to give it a try if you haven't. And if you don't like it, you know, it's not it's not too much of a loss. But uh, I think you will like it. So give it a try. Give it a try if you want. Alright, take care guys and have a great rest of your day.